Welcome to this week's edition of Topsail Highway TV. I'm Ashley Wood. And I'm Ashley Van McKibben. This week we have a winner in the Penny Drive, a visitor to the band room, and a final reminder about the Washington, D.C. trip. But first, a Topsail student is putting his own twist on an easy-to-make meal. Here's Jack Carney with our top story. Frozen dinners are usually pretty easy to make. Throw it in the microwave and you're done. But how hard is it to create that meal in the first place? That's what Topsail High School student Henry Heal is trying to figure out. Henry is creating a food product that is healthy and tastes good. He has to create the dish from scratch, develop the packaging, price it, and figure out the nutritional content. The goal is to create a dish that can be used and turned into a frozen dinner. Last week, Henry tested out his meal on some Topsail High teachers and got rave reviews. He will now take the dish to the FCCLA state competition in Greensboro. Good luck to Henry and all the Pirates who will be competing at that event. For Top Supply TV, I'm Jack Harney. Thanks, Jack. The penny drive has come to an end, and it's time to declare a winner. And the prize goes to Mr. Garrett's third period drafting two class. For raising the most money per student, the class was treated to a pizza party and dessert. The penny drive put on by HOSA was a huge success this year as they raised almost $2,000 for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Mr. Garrett's class raised $15.96 per student with Mr. McMichael and Ms. Skiba following closely behind in second and third place. The History Department trip to Washington, D.C. is right around the corner. And just a quick reminder, if you are attending, Mr. Fry needs all unpaid fees and medical forms returned to him as soon as possible. If you're not sure of your status, check with him to make sure you don't owe anything. That trip is March 16th and 17th. We'll have more on the trip when they get back. The symphonic band is preparing for their upcoming contest and they got a little extra help last week. Two and three. Dr. John LaCanada is the director of bands at the UNCW and took time to work with the Topsail High students. Dr. LaCanada helped the band work on their routine for the North Carolina High School Music Performance Festival in Havelock. The event is just a few weeks. So the visit came at a good time. Paying for college can be an overwhelming experience, but the guidance department reminds you that scholarships are available. Seniors, if you haven't lately, you need to check out the scholarship newsletters. It is available in the guidance department or on our school website. Click on students, then counseling department, senior information, and then scholarship newsletter. Pay close attention to the deadlines and what materials you'll need to include with your application. That wraps up this week's edition of Topsail High TV. But before we go, a note that the Martial Arts Club will be meeting <laughs> during first half of Power Hour on Wednesday. They're going to have a multiple-time black belt. They're a man with a special tie to Topsail High School. We'll have more on that story next week, but until then, have a great week, and we'll see you right back here next time on, at Topsail High TV.